Hello my YouTube friends, Chrissy again at A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Thanks for tuning into this video. Today I am sharing about books, yay, some of my favorite videos to share. So in this video, I am sharing my family's favorite children's holiday books, but also books for the winter season. The Little Drummer Boy by Ezra Jack Keats. This book is the text of the Christmas song or carol, Little Drummer Boy, which is one of our favorite Christmas carols and stories. Uh, I love the lesson that this classic teaches us that we all have something to offer. The illustrations are captivating, done really, really well, super whimsical. We go through it over and over again, singing the carol. Red and Lulu by Matt Tavares. This story is about two cardinals who make their nest in an evergreen tree. Well, one day the tree is taken and the cardinals are separated. Miles cannot keep a determined cardinal from his loved one uh, because cardinals do mate for life and I love that little scientific fact. Uh, so of course Christmas is the season for miracles um, so they are reunited. I love that the New York City Public Library, Times Square, the Rockefeller Center are mentioned. I love that we can tie that to an actual geographical location. There's also a history lesson in the back of the book about the Rockefeller uh, tree and lighting ceremony tradition, which is like a 90 year tradition. Uh, and it gives just plenty of opportunity for a lesson of the actual event and location. There's also room for discussion on the conflict of separation, one, two, cutting down trees and deforestation, which is gently approached in this book. Spoiler, the end is the family planting a new tree. Just a perfect Christmas story about loved ones and miracles. Pick a Pine Tree by Patricia Tott. This book is about the tradition of picking out and taking home a Christmas tree, a tradition that we do every single year. We have yummy treats, we put on our Christmas uh, jammies and make decorating the tree an event. I love the warmth that this book evokes just as the season does. The book is also really nice quality. The pages are that matte style that I personally love and almost like a cardstock thickness for durability. The illustrations are super fun. The kids love and gravitate to this book often. Was Noche Buena by Roseanne Greenfield Fong, a Christmas story in English and Spanish, a favorite in our home because we can relate to many of the Noche Buena traditions mentioned in this book. So the story is about a Noche Buena of a Mexican family. There are many similarities in our traditions uh, that we do as a Colombian family, uh, like tamales, a Noche Buena church service or, or Christmas service, uh, a large family gathering, and exchanging some gifts at midnight.
a world of cookies for santa follow santa's tasty trip around the world by m e Furman, another favorite diverse and multicultural christmas book this book takes the reader to 33 countries across the globe to see the treats that await santa on christmas eve I'm enchanted by these illustrations, and what's neat is that you'll find several recipes towards the back of the book about the treats mentioned throughout the book. This is an awesome resource to have for a Christmas around the world unit study. On the Night You Were Born by Nancy Tillman. Now this isn't specifically a Christmas storybook. It's a celebration of birth and worth of every child. However, we always bring it out during this time of year to celebrate uh, the birth of Christ our Savior King. Just take a look at these illustrations. Absolutely magical. I love the poetic text as well. Christmas in the Manger by Nola Buck. This is a classic Christmas story for families who celebrate Christmas as the birth of Christ and one of our first Christmas story books. It's a simple poem of the nativity story, but from the perspective of different animals and people like the donkey, the ox, the shepherds. A simple and gentle story for toddlers. It's still a classic we read every year. And speaking of classic, what is more than a Charlie Brown Christmas? Uh, this is the beautiful deluxe edition. This is just a staple in our home. Peanuts is a big deal for us during the holiday season, as much as, for example, the Polar Express is for other families. Uh, this book is the retelling of the Peanuts Beloved Christmas special. Uh, this year, we also bought the vinyl record to go with it. And uh, there's just something about Peanuts and holiday time that maybe just bring me back to my childhood. And there's something so special and warm in sharing that with my own children. Can you see what I see the night before Christmas? Picture puzzles to search and solve by Walter Wick, published by Scholastic. Another classic in our home. Uh, we love I Spy books for the holiday seasons. Uh, these are scenes from Clement Moore's Twas the Night Before Christmas. So it inspired 12 enchanting and fascinating compositions where we search for hidden objects. Just a super fun resource to pull out during the holiday season. The Christmas Wish, a wish book by Lori Evert. One of our top five favorites. It's breathtaking, magical photography and story. So the story is of a little girl's wish to be one of Santa's elves. The fact that the protagonist is an actual real life girl makes the magic of Christmas even more alive for my kids. There is adventure through beautiful winter landscapes, woodland animals, and just an overall super cozy Nordic feel. A unique Christmas book. We have nothing like this. And I think that there's another title um, also by the same author that we'd love to add to our collection.
The Nutcracker by the New York City Ballet, a classic ballet tale and holiday favorite. The art in this picture book is beautiful, which is why I went with it. The imagery of the original fairy tale can be a bit scary, uh, so I appreciate the more gentle illustrations. I love how this book also evokes appreciation for the art of ballet and just stage performance overall. I love the facts at the end of the book. Super neat uh, resource to build a unit study upon. Now getting into our winter seasonal books. First we have Winter by Gerda Mueller. This series of books is our favorite and we have one for every season if you've seen my other videos. This series of books is without text so the story is always different. There's always something new to discover. In this winter book we see fun illustrations of snow shoveling, ice skating, and just being cozy indoors uh, and staying warm. I love the detailed drawing of Gerda Mueller in all of her picture books including this one. Owl Moon by Jane Yolen, my favorite winter book of all time. This is a poetic story that shows the special bond between a child and her father, but also our connection to the natural world. Late one winter night, the little girl and her father go owling through the woods, which is so special because it's something that we love to do during winter. Actually, we look for owl pellets. Uh, the watercolor illustrations of the night winter forest uh, are just marvelous. The Snowy Map by Jan Brett. Of course, all of Jan Brett's books are classic favorites, especially the winter ones, but this title is my personal favorite. In this winter classic, Hedgy tries to stay awake so that he doesn't miss out on all the snowy fun his friends are having. This story gently opens an opportunity to further discuss hibernation. We also have a pet Hedgy, so that adds to our love for the story and the illustrations i mean those go without saying the beautiful borders um just one of a kind Sleep Tight Farm by Eugene Doyle. In this winter book, we learn how a family gets a farm ready uh, for the winter. There are so many details in the illustrations and it gives the winter mood and feelings. I'll start with that because look at these illustrations, these scenes, I absolutely love them. I also love the lesson of this book about the worth of work. It's a book that I as an adult enjoy and learn from, but all the same not too wordy for the kids. Winter Poems, selected by Barbara Rogaski and published by Scholastic. This is a seasonal collection of 25 winter poems written by writers like Shakespeare, Vincent Millay, Robert Frost, to name a few. 
The poems along with the illustrations are a tribute to winter's beauty. None of these poems have any religious references, by the way, they're all strictly about nature. Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner, another series of books we love because they're a series of picture books that also teach science. In this title, we're reading about animals like bullfrogs, squirrels, and bears to name a few who make winter homes under the snow. We learn about animals who hibernate, but also about the ones who live through the winter and how they stay safe and warm. Love the illustrations in all the Kate Messner books. If you don't know about this series, I highly recommend that you go check it out. Hands down, one of our favorite children's book series. All right, friends, that's it for this video. I'd love to know some of your favorite holiday or winter uh, book favorites down in the comments. Of course, I will always go check those out. If you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the playlist of uh, favorite children's book for all seasons through the year. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for your love.